Hello, Las Vegas. I'm Reggie Hayes, and it's my honor and privilege to introduce you to this outstanding collection of fine art that's on display at the Summerlin Library now until March 12th. Inspirations from Hayes was curated from my sister's rather substantial collection. Jackie selected art from three West African countries and from Americans of the African diaspora to honor the King Holiday and Black History Month. Jackie was a student of history and happens to love art. This is evident in the pieces she selected for this show. I remember Jackie as a young girl watching Roots on TV, then writing essays about the series every night. TV Guide commissioned the iconic Romare Bearden to do the periodical's cover for Alex Haley's groundbreaking series. Bearden's piece shows people taken from Africa and shipped across the Atlantic Ocean like cargo. The figures in the belly are the artist's interpretation of historical images. Amistad is another powerful Bearden piece. It shows captive Africans choosing to rebel and mutiny instead of becoming chattel slaves. This is indeed a true story covered in the newspapers at the time. Steven Spielberg did a movie about Amistad, which starred Morgan Freeman, Anthony Hopkins, Jaiman Hanzu, and Matthew McConaughey. I was fortunate enough to go on a tour with a photojournalist to Alicia and Ekiti, Nigeria. And the photojournalist, Herb Gunn, presented me with these two very beautiful uh, photographs of young students in uh, Nigeria uh, learning and studying. Next, we have an original taffa. It's called protest synchronization. This is a sizable oil on board applied with a pallet knife. The composition speaks to civil protest, both orderly and disorderly. Tafa has documented recent history that's in the news now. Notice the colors, the positioning of the colors, the movement of the images. The pieces on the wall here were commissioned to commemorate Ford Motor Company's 100th anniversary. The pieces were by Marcus Jansen, and what they're showing is in the beginning, about 100 years ago, you have people coming up from the north to work in the industrial plants in the Midwest, and it just shows you the history of working in the automotive industry over the period. The last piece I must talk about is Bearden's Mountaintop. Bearden's subject matter is Martin Luther King's speech to the sanitation workers in Memphis. The key passage in Dr. King's speech is, it really doesn't matter to me now, because I've been to the mountaintop, and I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. Dr. King was assassinated the day after the speech, and Mountaintop was created shortly after, in 1968. It's documented at Mountaintop, so you can see and remember. Never forget. We must never forget. <laughs>